Hey guys, just uh, doing a video here for, uh, I had a 40k tournament on the weekend there on Sunday and uh, didn't get a chance to do a beforehand uh, shot of my army I was working on for the tournament. So I just thought I'd uh, do one now and uh, just, uh, yeah, so it took me about three weeks to paint this up and actually kind of funny uh, the command squad I didn't get started on it until like uh, Saturday morning really I think I had them primed Friday and that was about it so so yeah so I figured I'll just start there so there's my champion with the halibut of Caliban the apothecary cyclone missile launcher the battle or that was the Deathwing banner I was using. And, uh, sorry about the lighting. I really need to do something about that. Uh, this is my Belial model that I use. I don't really. I think I've talked to, about it a few times. I don't like the the new one. And uh, yeah, gonna make this guy into a Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield guy. Gonna rip the arms off and redo it. But uh, yeah, so so that was Command Squad and Belial. And then I had three squads of Terminators, one Chain Fist, one Assault Cannon. Basically the guys from the, the Dark Vengeance box. So so yeah, three squads of them. And I had a, a Deathwing Dreadnought with the Twin Lake Laz and Missile Launcher. Sorry about the shaking. The other squad. And then... Another squad as well. So, like I said, the three troop squads were all the same. Really gotta worry about the shaking. God. Sorry about that. So yeah, assault cannon, one chain fist, then two regular power bolt or power fist storm bolter guys, and then the surge. And then I needed some filler, so I did up a five man sniper squad. And you know, gave me another troop choice as well. So. And they actually, they helped out quite a bit. Because usually they were the only thing on the board near the start, so you know, they were a pretty... People were dealing with them instead of shooting at my Terminators. <laughs> so, yeah. So. But it was a good tournament. I have haven't played a real competitive game in, like, six years, so... Um, like, yeah, like... I've been playing my son, but you know, I don't really count that. And he's getting better. He's starting to pick up on some of the stuff, but uh, yeah. So I was in such a rush, like I just couldn't worry about the power swords making them look how I wanted. So I just painted them red, just so they were painted. And um, so yeah, so that was about it for that army. Um, it was a good game, good time. Got in four games. I won my first one, got destroyed in my second one playing Tau Eldar. That was my first experience with them. That was fun. Uh, and then I played uh, two Chaos Armies next, and they were pretty close games. So I think I ended up finishing ninth or 10th out of 20 people. So I'll take it. You know, like I said, I hadn't played a real competitive game and like six years, so. Mm. So, yeah, so it was a good time. I had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, um, so. So now that they're, well, not done. I've still got touch ups to do, and I gotta work on some base, on the bases some more. I wanna do a little bit more to them, because they're pretty basic. It's just some cork with them painted up, and the models still need some more work just to get them to pop but uh, but for now like I said I just wanted to get something done quick and I took about three weeks to paint these guys up so I just wanted a fully painted army for the tournament and it actually it helped with my point scores a lot so uh, for each game so so yeah so I'll probably put them away for now for a bit so I can move on I've got other things to work on I my son's army needs some stuff built for it, his Chaos Army. Uh, I 
picked up uh, some old uh, old uh, Chaos uh, Havocs for them, like the old How to Print guys. Uh, the prime black, so you can't really make out anything. So, so yeah, so I got him like five heavy weapons. He got a couple las cannons, an auto cannon, a missile launcher or two missile launchers, just to give him some little more. Like he really just has the basic stuff. I haven't gotten him anything good yet, like hell drakes or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, continuing on that theme. I do got this, I got to put together for him still. He wants warp talons instead of the raptors, so we're going to do that. And uh, I've got my. Finally, got some of these guys. I don't know if I had said this before or not, so I got to assemble them. God, I got to really do something about this shaking. <laughs> Get a tripod or go see a doctor. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I've been working on my one buddy's, uh, you've seen the Talarn stuff, and that, and, uh, he had these Infinity, uh, female models he wanted to paint up so he could use them as snipers, so I've got a couple more of them i got to do, and let's see if we can focus here. So yeah, so I'm going to work on them, and then probably some more Black Templar stuff as well. So yeah, yeah I wasn't too sure like when I started doing these because he wanted them the Talarn color scheme we've been doing, and but it, I think it's coming out okay. I just had to mix up where the colors were going on them, that was all. Just kind of make it work, so. Alright, well. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I hope you can put up with the shakiness here. All right, have a good day.